Podium an. Podium an. marketing, 33% of your database is dead every year because people change their email addresses that often. Cell phones, 1.3 times your entire life. That's the average time we change our phone number now. 1.3 times entire lifespan. So if you get somebody with their 18 and you can provide value to them, you've got them for a very, very long time. But what you don't see is what's important. What you don't see is what's impressive. Because what they do is they actually have the store number associated with that URL. So if I go to Woodland Hills and I go to Woodland Hills Best Buy and I scan something, they know that somebody has scanned something, somebody has shown interest in that particular product at Woodland Hills. Now they compare that with the purchase of how many people actually buy that product, and then they can start sitting there and using the information to say, okay, well, you know, it's being, you know, people are interested in it, but they're just not buying it. Why? Is it because of the price? Is it because of the merchandising? What can we do in that particular store, down to the store level, to move that product? But what they did next, was what was really great. Now they've got people familiar with the code, they've got them used to using it, now they do something neat. There's a lot of rail traffic in Vancouver. A lot of rail commuter traffic. So what they did is they took this QR code and they put a QR code in the rail. And now when I sit there, I'm going to work or I'm coming back home from work, I can sit there and I can scan that QR code and I can go to the website and I can place my order for the coffee and that coffee will be ready for me when I get off the, when I get off the train. Now it's convenient for me, it's value to me, it's utility to me, but even better for them, they just cut out all the competition. I don't have to make that decision. They have, don't have to sit there and do all that marketing advertising to try to, to say they're the best versus these other 11 when I get off that train. North Face goes into China. Problem is, China and our urban dwellers, they're not adventurers, which completely goes against the North Face brand. So what they did is they came in, they came in with an app, they sat there, and you can actually virtually stake and claim a piece of land and call that yours. And as soon as you do that, it goes off to a website where they keep track of this thing. They have electronic billboards that show the, the flag being planted as well. Within 18 days, they had over 2 million unique here to their website. Over 18 days spent, they had over 650,000 flags planted. In 18 days, they crowned the champion and planted over 4,000 flags. Just one person. Obviously, they didn't have a job. <laughs> but they opened up China, or at least a small segment of China, to be adventurers, to be open to their brand. But the problem is, is I could be here talking to you today and I can check in at Mayfest. I could be here talking to you today and I can check in at the Tulsa Zoo. I can check in anywhere I want to. I don't actually have to be there. Well, Shopkick saw this as a problem. Then Microsoft had to come in and do what Microsoft does best, which is muddy up the waters. And they come up with their own TV barcode, which is called the Microsoft Tag. Now the neat thing about it is, they did actually do some things right with it, and the fact that they've got analytics built into it. Jennifer says by, by 2014, 20% of all phones worldwide will be uh, NFC compliant. Again, that depends on Apple, I think, personally. Uh, the other thing that it really depends on is that right now people who understand NFC and, and know NFC from what commercials and advertisements we've been seeing is all about the ease of use. But the problem is that they're not directing to sell us on the use of NFC, 
is how secure is it? We're not showing that you have pin numbers that you have to put in or that you have special codes that you have to do to actually complete the process. They're not making us feel comfortable in using a phone as our mobile, as our, excuse me, as our wallet. And so people aren't ready for it. They're not waiting for it. They may wait for the new iPhone. They may wait for the new iPad. They may wait for the new droids or heaven forbid the, the next razor that's coming out. But they're not waiting for an NFC phone. 